eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hi, my lovely people. Section 107 Fair Use allows us to talk about it, and that's what we are here to do. Please don't go out of your way to dislike anybody we talk about in this video. It is for entertainment and reaction purposes only. It is my opinion and my opinion only. Aw, who's still bitter? Who's still heartbroken? Who's sitting over there big mad? Excuse me, Alex. I'll take Olivia Johnson for uh, 2000 please. Baby, let's talk about it. So, Olivia, she's over here going live and she's doing a lot of complaining. And it's really lean more towards Gerard, right? The number one thing that she's upset about is that she gets on here and she tells us that, guess what? Gerard is asking for jail time. He's not worried about, um, you know, getting the money. He just wants to see her in jail is what she says. Well, let me just say it this way. If it was a reverse, okay, if it was a man out here that was over $10,000 behind in child support and he wasn't paying his bills, the state would go ahead, pull his license. Okay, let's see if that'll get his attention. After he got further and further and further behind and still was not paying, then guess what? Baby, let me go on and lock you up for about 30, 60 days and then maybe you'll get the hint to start paying this child support. So no, I don't feel bad that Gerard is asking you, could you please pay the child support or go to the slammer also when y'all separated and he didn't give you your child support you were always complaining right oh he's he's not even paying what he should be but he was paying you uh three four hundred dollars a week out of his paycheck and he proved that then he went on here and proved more to you because he came and pulled the children out of your custody so what you weren't getting in child support baby it was going towards lawyer fees to come and get them babies that's number one number two being ten thousand dollars uh behind in child support you are uh what making a hundred dollars a month payment that doesn't even take care of one child for a month let alone three baby you are in the rearages and you are behind just like you sit over there on your big behind you are behind and then you have enough nerve to get on here and say oh but he won't buy my kids uh shoes my baby's walking around with two little shoes on and this that and holy this and holy that then why you ain't buying it, right? That's my first thing. Now, come on, y'all. We ain't new to this. And when you co-parent, right, especially if you had a co-parent uh, like Olivia, 90%, and I've seen this happen between couples, hey, you got the kids for the weekend and I got them for the week or whatever the case may be, then I'm going to send them over there with a raggedy stuff because you the raggedy parent, right? So I'm pretty sure that that's what Gerard is thinking. Look, I'm going to send them over here with a raggedy stuff because at the end of the day, Olivia is telling the court that she's ready to have her children full time, that she's got a bedroom that they've got a wardrobe that she's fully stocked so if that's the case then why ain't you got some extra shoes at your house for ryan to put on her feet you should have three four five pair of shoes for each child in your home at all times because god forbid the court wants to tell you tomorrow oh well guess what you can get your children right you ain't got no shoes over there for him you don't have no extra clothes over there for him so you mean to tell me you telling gerard well I pay child support, so that's what the child support should go towards. Girl, what is $100 a month going to do? Because let's not act like Fifi ain't out here running your credit card. But you have made a $100 payment on child support, and you really think uh, that that is really going to do something? That ain't even enough to do anything with, uh, let alone for three children. Gerard, yeah, you're mad that he chose to make you the babysitter. Him and Nisha are out here having a good time. They're out here at nice, uh, reputable restaurants that you got to make reservations for, possibly buy some tickets for and you know dress up for it. and you're sitting at the park getting mulch sand and dirt thrown in your face while your kids is cussing you out and telling you that they tired of eating your dry old spaghetti for dinner also you want to get on here and complain about oh well why is my baby hair not done because you didn't do it you didn't do it you never did the children's hair you would rather cut their hair off than comb it so therefore if they with you why you ain't combing it Matter of fact, why aren't you taking them somewhere to get a protective style so that when they go home, their hair still did? So you ain't got to worry about who's doing it. See, you are, uh, what are they called? Complacent. You're complacent right now. You are sitting here and you are saying everything that you want done, but you don't want to do anything. Then you want to talk about what somebody else does because then you can look like you the victim. Girl, let me just say one thing about Olivia. She says that she's broke. She says she can't afford, oh, I can't afford to buy no shoes. And then somebody says, but shoes at Walmart they number $15. She says she don't even got $15. She said any change that she's got, she's scraping it together for gas and for uh, formula and anything for the baby. Well, this is my thing, okay? 
If you have to scrape together to get milk or a necessities for a child or pampers, but you want her talking about, oh man, my last two children, they got the same daddy and I love the daddy and I'm in love with him and he's the bee's knees. Well, then why would you have to scrape together your last coins to go out and buy diapers if you got two of his children that are in diapers? Shouldn't that be provided by him since he's the bee's knees? He's got all these uh, secret alias jobs, black ops, and, you know, he was once a military man. He was on a police. Uh, what did you say? He was a police. Then you said he was a detective. Then you said he was a tattoo artist. And hey, we don't know what he is. I'm going to take a wild guess that he's uh, in the book of Where's Waldo, right? But why would you be struggling with his two children? Shouldn't he be paying you child support? Shouldn't you have extra income with two children? Uh-huh. Shouldn't he be out there buying them clothes and shoes? So why is it that you sit here and say, when it comes to Gerard's children, every penny I got, I got to scrape together. I'm a mom of a new baby. Well, shouldn't they daddy be taking care of them since, guess what, Gerard is taking care of his three children? Girl, you don't make absolutely no sense. Instead, you would rather sit over here and look like a fool and continue to talk. Because guess what? Unfortunately, there are idiots in your chat that believe what you're saying and want to hear what you're saying and think that what you're saying makes any sense. When all you have to do is open up your eyes and see that you're a deadbeat mother. Bottom line, if a man was out here on what you owed in child support, we would run him up and down the YouTube streets and call him a deadbeat father. So you're a deadbeat mother. And that's all that it rounds about to keep on complaining because when they go home to, uh, you know, Gerard and Nisha's house. Oh, honey, we see the pictures. We know he buy him shoes. We know he buy him clothes. And they uh, out here and they doing sporting events. You talking about buying shoes. What things did you buy for your children when they were in sports? Because we seen some were in gymnastics, some were in dance, some was in soccer, some was in football. Did you buy any soccer shoes? Did you buy any football cleats? Did you buy any, uh, you know, tumbling shoes? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So you got some nerve to get on here and tell a man what he should do when you can't even pay your own child support. Girl, boo and bye. I'll see you on the comments.